They serve time behind bars. Now they're serving their community and speaking out against the gun violence here in Columbus. NBC4's Jonathan Jackson talked to members of the group known as Halt Violence about their mission to prevent shootings. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, this organization, Halt Violence, not only works to bring an end to vi gun violence in our community, but also help former convicts turn their lives around. And I spoke with one former gang, gang member who tells me it helped turn his life around and possibly save it as well. I've been shot two different occasions, um, once in my arm and one in the back of my head. In 2018, Brandon Ray nearly lost his life to gun violence here in Columbus. At that time, Ray says his life was going in the wrong direction. And after barely surviving a gunshot wound to the skull, he knew he had to make a change. The whole time I was in the hospital, I'm just thinking, you know, life don't stop. So I'm missing out on my education, assignments, I'm falling behind. So that gave me the willpower to, you know, I gotta get up and, you know, get back to it. However, Ray says he didn't do it alone. We're here as a resource. And I'm a, and me and others are living testimony that it can be done. That's Thel Robinson founder of the Columbus nonprofit known as Halt Violence. Robinson knows all too well how difficult going straight can be. He's a former drug dealer who served time in Franklin County for his crimes. But once he got out, decided to better his life and others by forming this group, which works to save lives and prevent gun violence through street mediation and mentorship. Instead of shooting each other, let's talk about a nonviolent alternative and, um, and just meeting them where they at. And he says that's how they've helped hundreds of young people in Columbus like Ray. Who says if not for Robinson, he may have never gotten his life on track. He taught me how to, you know, get my record expunged. So he went through all the steps with me, going downtown, filling out the paperwork. I ain't using no a lawyer, it was just me and Theo. And now, Ray hopes to spread that message to others. He got me toward sort of on, you know, the same path as him. I'm like, yeah, I know if I can change, you can too. Somebody else can too. They sure can. Now, Thel tells me they're not only working to help those in the organization, but they are also trying to train the next generation of street mentors as well. And if you'd like to learn more about their organization, you can visit our website at NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.